This morning, I asked Her Excellency, the Governor-General, to dissolve the House of Representatives so that elections can occur for the House and half of the Senate on Saturday, August 21. I'm uh, not a religious person. I was uh, brought up uh, in the Baptist Church, uh, uh, but during my adult life, um, I've, uh, you know, found a different path. I'm, of course, a great respecter of uh, religious beliefs, but they're not my beliefs. And if I can use a footy analogy, there are times when the coach says to the players, play safe, lock it down, short passes, keep possession of the ball. I think we've been playing our election campaign like that but you see the best of the players when they're really going for it. I'm going to be really going for it. the real Julia, please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. So there's uh, obviously a combination of makeup and lighting that does you a lot of good. Uh, I promised her that we would sort that out. We wouldn't have any prime ministerial cleavage uh, in, the, in the pages of Women's Weekly. Would the real Julia, please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. I fought for too many years uh, to help build our country up. I don't intend to stand idly by and simply watch Mr Abbott tear all that down. Of course, Kevin Rudd, uh, as an honoured former Prime Minister, will be there at the I'll be the seeing uh, my surgeon again on Saturday. Um, I think I'll also be catching up with the Prime Minister on Saturday. And Sunday, all things being well, I'll be hitting the campaign trail. and I think I should be allowed to make a, a living. If you'd agree to the request to have an interview, there would be no need to The trouble is I'm not sure that Mark Latham knows where the line is. Uh, he's not a journalist. Uh, he's still full of bile and settling old scores. I don't really think it does 60 Minutes or the network much, uh, much of a favour, really, to have him posing as a journalist. They parted. I didn't have to push anyone. And I um, made my points to her as clearly as I could. Uh, I didn't swear at her. I didn't raise my voice. Uh, the physicality of it was all on her side. <laughs> You're brave enough to shake my hand. I'm happy to shake your hand, mate. I'm happy to shake your hand. I'm glad to hear it. No, no, no you worries, won't end up in hospital, but, uh, if I could... Tony Abbott walking away from work choices would be like Richie Benno saying he doesn't believe or doesn't like cricket anymore. It's dead, buried and cremated today, tomorrow, this year, next year, uh, in three years' time, forever. I was the high priest at the burial. Give me a bit of paper, I'll sign it here. Dead, buried, cremated. You Let's can frame that. Work choices. Dead, buried, cremated. And subsequent to that, uh, the Prime Minister publicly refused. Now, are you suggesting to me that when it comes from Julia, no doesn't mean no? Uh, she said no repeatedly uh, and... When she said no, I thought she meant no. We do have the opposition leader, Tony Abbott! You know, I'm from the country, I don't get out much. I asked my mum if she could help me find out. His Tony, what, what did you think of uh, Loretta Chatterlot a little? I, I quite like the Julia Gillard accent. <laughs> I am determined to meet as many Australians as I possibly can, uh, and if that means that I lose uh, the best part of one night's sleep, well, that is a small price to pay. You know, people expect the candidate for the top job to be bloody keen. You know, why sleep uh, at a time like this? 